Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm a member of the communications team here at the Trust. Earlier in the year, we filmed a number of uh, children's stories for Sandwell School Nursing. And with it being Christmas, we wanted to film another one with an obviously Christmas theme. This one is one that I first heard when I was a boy. That's a long time ago now. As part of a treasury of Christmas stories called Christmas Storyteller. It was one of those books you got where there was a cassette tape and you could play it and listen along as the story was told and you can read along in the book. The story I'm actually going to tell you today is not really a story, it's a poem, one written by A.A. A. Milne over a hundred years ago at this point. And you may know A.A. A. Milne by another set of works, The Adventures in the Hundred Acre Wood and of a bear very little brain. It features King John, also known as Prince John, who you may know from the Robin Hood legend, and he doesn't have much luck at Christmas. This is King John's Christmas by A. A. Milne. <laughs> King John was not a good man. He had his little ways, and sometimes no one spoke to him for days and days and days. And men who came across him when walking in the town gave him a supercilious stare or passed with noses in the air. And bad King John stood dumbly there, blushing beneath his crown. King John was not a good man, and no good friends did he. He stayed in every afternoon, but no one came to tea. And every year at Christmas, the cards upon his shelf, which wished him lots of Christmas cheer, good fortune in the coming year, were never from his near and dear, but only from himself. King John was not a good man, yet had his hopes and fears. They'd given him no present now for years and years and years. But every year at Christmas, while minstrels stood about, collecting tribute from the young for all the songs they might have sung, he stole away upstairs and hung a hopeful stocking out. King John was not a good man. He lived his life aloof, alone. He fought a message out while climbing up the roof. He wrote it down and propped it against a chimney stack. To all and sundry, near and far, F. Christmas in particular. And he signed it not Johannes R., but very humbly. Jack. I want some crackers, and I want some candy. I think a box of chocolates would come in handy. I don't mind oranges. I do like nuts, and I should like a pocket knife that really cuts. But, oh, Father Christmas, if you love me at all, bring me a big red India rubber ball. King John was not a good man. He wrote this message out and gat him to his room again, descending by the spout. And all that night he lay there, a prey to hopes and fears. I think that's him coming now. Anxiety bedewed his brow. He'll bring one present anyhow. The first I've had for years. Oh, forget about the crackers and forget about the candy. I know a box of chocolates would never come in handy. I don't like oranges. I don't want nuts. And I have got a pocket knife that almost cuts. But oh, Father Christmas, if you love me at all, bring me a big red India rubber ball. King John was not a good man. Next morning, when the sun rose up to tell the waiting world that Christmas had begun, 
and people seized their stockings and opened them with glee, and crackers, toys and games appeared, and lips with sticky sweets were smeared. King John said grimly, As I feared, nothing again for me. I did want crackers and I did want candy. I know a box of chocolates would come in handy. I do love oranges. I did want nuts. I haven't got a pocket knife. Not one that cuts. And oh, if Father Christmas had loved me at all, he would have brought a big red India rubber ball. King John stood by the window and frowned to see below the happy bands of boys and girls all playing in the snow. A while he stood there watching and envying them all, when through the window, big and red, there hurtled by his royal head and bounced and fell upon the bed, an Indian rubber ball. And oh, Father Christmas, my blessings on you four for bringing him a big red India rubber ball. Merry Christmas, everyone, and have a happy new year.